What's up guys, Matt Day here, and today's video is gonna be nice and short because I just wanna to talk to you guys about a YouTube channel that I think you should check out, and more specifically, a video series on that channel that has been a lot of fun to watch and something that I think a lot of you would really enjoy. And that YouTube channel is Nick Exposed. It's by my good friend Nick Mayo, and he does a lot of really good videos on film photography, and especially his videos on how to make a zine and what his process was for making his own zine. They've been really, really good, and they've inspired me to pick out my old zine and kind of like flip through it and kind of share this with you guys because it's a lot of fun making a zine. If you're not familiar with what they are, it's just a really simple DIY kind of publication on your photography, your uh, really just anything. You can do a zine on just about anything, but they're really, really popular in photography. And this is my zine without reason. I made this back in uh, the summer of 2013, so it's about four years old now, but I had a lot of fun making this thing. Uh, I hadn't seen it in years. This is just like the proof copy that I had made. I made all these over at my local Office Max. Um, but I sold, I think, a limited run of 25, maybe 50, uh, but they all sold out, and this is the only uh, proof copy that I have, so hadn't looked at this thing in years until watching Nick's videos, and uh, it was a lot of fun to, to hear about his process and how he made it, and kind of see some of this old work and stuff and just an old publication. Um, making your zines are usually really simple, uh, cost-effective ways, and that's what makes them so fun. They're so easy and they're so accessible. And uh, it's something that I always encourage people to do at least once. This is my one and only scene, and I want to make another one, but uh, it was really, really cool to you know pick this thing up again after seeing Nick's videos. He has a really, really nice zine, and he goes into detail on his YouTube channel on the process of shooting it and laying it out and everything. Uh, seeing how he laid out his photos, it, it made me want to dig out the way I laid out without reason. And uh, that is this right here. This is my little layout copy. <laughs> and uh, it makes me laugh. I kept it because it made me laugh even as I was making it. Um, it's just a really kind of sloppy way of doing it or just really not the the most logical way of doing it i would say but uh but it worked and and that's the beauty of zines there you can throw them together however you need to it doesn't have to be perfect um but the way i did this was i laid out some copy paper you know that you would put in your printer and i just folded everything in half and stacked it up they're not stapled or anything um and rather than actually using some kind of like adobe software which i didn't have at the time I just uh, drew rectangles for where the photos would be and I wrote down what that photo would be right there and I would write down the file number so that way I knew you know, where to find that film scan on my hard drive. And uh, I, I did all this, you can see I've used a, a red Sharpie that I made certain edits and changed things and switched things around. And uh, on the back, what's really nice is I made basically like a little legend for myself. This is my my own notes, so I knew exactly what I needed when I went to the printer. Uh, so the page size, you know, eight and a half by five and a half. And rather than actually using the proper software, um, if you need to make like a diptych or something where you place two photos side by side on uh, on your phone, at the time, the, the best app to do it was PicFrame. Um, and I was able to download that on my MacBook, and that's what I used to make the layout for certain pages. So there would be, you know, a photo here, and then a photo here, top and bottom. I would use PicFrame to make that, and I would export that file, and that would be what I would print on that page. So here, for my note, I know that uh, I was using the ratio of 2 to 3 for those, and uh, the border size was at 10. So, <laughs> not the... Uh, not the most professional way to, to get those kind of results, but uh, but it worked. And again, that's what's so fun about zines is you can throw them together really just about any way, and uh, it works. You know, I, I sold out on this zine, and it was, you know, cheap to make, cheap to sell, and it was just a way for me to kind of share some photos I had made that summer, and it was a lot of fun to make. It really, you know, just digging through this, it makes me want to make another one. And uh, if you guys are interested in making zines, definitely check out Nick's channel. He has a lot of great videos on that and other videos as well. He's got a lot of really cool videos about shooting film and just the creative process in general. And uh, honestly, I've gotten to know him over the last few months and Nick is one of the nicest and uh, most selfless people out there. He's always looking to help out other people and we need more people like that. So definitely go check out Nick's channel and the videos he does on making zines. I'm gonna put all the uh, links you need in the description below. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.